All right. And joining me now here in the studio is Gordon Conway. He's a professor at Imperial College in London, and he's also the chairman of the Montpellier panel. That's a group of European and African agricultural experts. Um, and, of course, we want to hear your expertise now. We saw in this report that Morocco is making some inroads here. It's not that easy for the people involved, necessarily. But the bigger problem is that many African countries have problems exporting their products. Right. What are the major challenges there? Well, the first of all is the challenge of production, of actually getting more food. At the moment, the yields in Africa, for example, for maize are about one ton per hectare, whereas here in Germany you get six or eight tons per hectare. So we've got to get the yields up. How do you do that? Well, you, you, you do it with the right kind of fertiliser and the right kind of varieties. I went to see a woman in, in Ethiopia recently and she was farming just one hectare and with the right mixture of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and added boron, which that soil needed, she was getting six tonnes per hectare. In other words, the same as you're getting here in Germany. And, and how easy or how difficult is it for these people, for example, to get hold of this fertiliser? It costs money, yes. but do they also have access to it? Well, that, that's the problem. First of all, all these farmers, all these small farmers in Africa, and 70% of all the farmers in Africa are smallholders with less than two hectares. Many of them are quite remote. They're distant from the markets, both the markets where they can get the fertiliser or whatever else they need, and also from the markets where they can sell their product. They're physically distant. And that is a big problem. That's why we need investment. We need investment in roads, not great big roads, but we need investment in all-weather feeder roads that go to the villages. And we need investment in irrigation. Only 4% of Africa's arable land is irrigated. Only 4%. And, of course, it's getting worse now with climate change. Exactly. Climate change is a big threat. I mean, we can all see what's happening as a result of climate change here in Britain or in England, where I am. But in Africa, the effects are quite severe already. You know, the, the growing seasons are getting shorter. I was in Ghana recently and the rains came a month late and they finished a month early. So they only had 100 days. And the heat is bad too. Every degree above 30 degrees centigrade, the yields of maize go down. How, how big should be the stake, the interest of developed nations to sort this problem out, especially in Africa? Because in the end, if we can't solve it, uh, it'll hit us all, won't it? Yes, of course it will, because we're all interconnected in this world now. I mean, we've been saying that for years, but everybody knows that right now. You've got large numbers, of course, of, of migrants wanted to come from Africa, not just from, from the Middle East, but they want to come from Africa, in part because they think it's a better life. We've got to help them have a better life in the countries where they live. And that, that is a big challenge. All right. Gordon Conway, thank you so much. I'd love to speak on, but sadly we haven't got the time. But thank you so much okay, for being here you. with us today. Okay.